Hello, Misfits, and welcome to a new show called Misfit Management. This will be sort of like a post-show discussion type thing where me and some of the players from our table sit around and talk about the episodes that happened, discuss the decisions our characters made, and our thoughts and feelings on the current story arcs that are playing out. This is to help tie you over on those weeks when I have to take off. You know, I'm a human being, I can't DM every single week constantly, I have to take breaks and look after myself, but I have always hated how that leaves you guys with gaps, you know? You have to wait until you get more of the story, so I'm hoping this will sort of help fill those gaps and make that wait a little more bearable. In today's episode, we are discussing episodes 68 through 72 of The Misfit Campaign 2. All right, here we are talking about episode 68 of Campaign 2. So the debate that Casey and I enjoyed over lunch today mm -hmm. was whether or not I should just walk into Hangman's Alley as Jack because <laughs> or um, to disguise. Well, I literally said, I literally said, if they kill, well, I was like, what should I do? And Casey goes, well, if they kill you, like, you'll just end up on the ship again. And I said, that could fucking scare some people. I think and so it, we had this fight. In, in my brain, I was like, yeah, they'll kill you. And then you'll just walk out like 30 minutes later. And like, what are they going to do? And then she goes. And then I said, was that when I brought up Allie? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we talked and I was about like, Ali and that that would be. But a then it could issue. like that would be a whole fight, like, and it would yeah, it would be, it would be emotionally and mentally taxing on Ali. Yes, I think if mm -hmm. you prepared him for it, maybe it wouldn't be like the worst thing. But I think but just the fact that like your dead body's still well, there, and bro. he would know you that you would feel dying, yeah. like you'd feel it. But, like, aside from that, if you weren't in a relationship with, like, a traumatized man, then... Yes. <laughs> that would be a really freaking... It would be just, such a power so play. Like, it would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I hated to rob y'all. I know y'all were like, we're gonna disguise self, and, like, you I rolled know. so well on it. But, like, when all of you guys except Isla walk in and you just docked the ocean's breast and it's like, right. come on. If I'd like snuck in somehow by myself to feel yeah. it out, that would have yeah. been different. But... Right. Allie wouldn't let you do that. He would have. Correct. Yeah. Insisted. It's a very colorful <laughs> cast of figures uh, yeah. here at Hangman's Alley. That's what? for sure. Um, no, I I love this. This it's is a lot be so more fun. humorous. It's a lot more humorous that than was, I thought it would be. That was yeah. the goal. I Good. I figured after <laughs> after the, the island, yeah, um, yeah, that we needed a tone shift and we needed to lighten the mood a little bit. So mm -hmm. I have questions about Gallows. Just me as too. A uh, this vampire fucking looking Gallows dude. is an interesting dude. In a uh, in my fan casting, he is played by Idris Elba. Mm. Yes, Idris. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad it's humorous because I was kind of dreading it. I was like, oh God, now we're going right. to fight these. Right. Now we got to deal with these fights. But no, this is, I like this. I like this. I also, I, I freaking love Kate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Salt of the earth. Love Kate. Yeah. She probably does know more than she's supposed to, canonically. I think so. Because yeah. I feel like in my head, I'm just like, yeah, Allie filled her in at some point. Where mm -hmm. when in actuality, I don't know if he would have been able to. Um, yeah, but I do like Kate. That's okay. I've missed her. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She was just I. I liked when she was first introduced, like. Y'all were immediately like, we gotta be careful around her. Like, she yeah. she could fuck us up if she wanted to. Uh, and I, I don't know. I just, I like a, a strong yeah. southern woman. <laughs> I do too. No, I love that. Hmm. Goodness. She's oh. great. Goodness me. Can we talk about, can we talk about Darren? Oh my god. Crying. Oh my god. 
and hugging Chi. And hugging you. I didn't think this was gonna get even more like stuff and so quickly. I was so not much prepared. conflict. The past yes, like no. several episodes have been very I also I went back and was watching older sessions. How long has this been going on, Claudia? How long? I I'm trying to remember. Because uh, like far back you start pulling just him aside and then it's like Yeah. Yes. I yeah. I everything is in doubt. <laughs> I, my ass, I'm trying to think, I think, I want to say, even as far back, ugh, god, it's also hazy, I want to say even as far back as, like, the Blood Tears arc, like, yeah, because, some of the stuff I was listening to was, like, possibly the first time y'all were in Alum Theer, um, yeah, where there was just some, oh, or maybe yes, it was yes. this, something yes. where there were just th moments, and it's like yes, yes, oh. yes, yeah. Man. First time in Alan there, I would say, um, I think that was beginning to 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 bud. Wild. To <laughs> I know. Poor I know. Chi. Poor I Chi. know. I don't know what to think of it, man. I'm just shocked that it keeps going on. Like yeah. you were like, you were like, I don't think Benji knows. There's no way. Because uh, I, I still don't think all. he knows. I, don't know, man. I, I still well. don't think he knows. But like, <laughs> now it just feels like he's <laughs> leading you on. To yeah. be honest, why is he talking to me? I don't understand. Because you're the I mom. Mean, I, well, but you do go to him first, too. You go to him first. That's that. that there, I know the reason for that is the thing. But like, I guess I guess I can see why because everyone else is kind of younger. You're the most emotionally yeah. and mentally yeah. stable figure also, on the crew. I mean, yeah. you're also the oldest, uh, other than him. That's true. Yeah. But that's yeah, yeah. Shit. I like Ella literally are the like i mean aside from revan who mentally is too like you're <laughs> literally the oldest <laughs> why was it so funny <laughs> i mean technically <laughs> he's older, is but like um it's four <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i think it's four. Oh, he, he's like old. <laughs> oh my um, gosh i know uh but, wild but, but yeah, yeah that I, whole i was my face. I have the worst poker face. Every time it's you and yes. Darren together now, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> freaking out. When he said um, he picked the wrong husband, you were like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, well, and like shit. I should mute myself, but like oh, it was so funny. I also well, hate when people mute and we miss reactions. Reactions. Well, mm -hmm. Honestly, I mean, like it still could have worked in the context. Right. Of right. It still could. It still could have. It still could have. Mm -hmm. I. I like. I actually. The thing is, is like I haven't even thought about Chi's whole thing because I was so taken aback by the shift in Darren. I was like, holy moly. This guy wants to take on the world. Props right to now. Benji. I have never been made to feel so guilty <laughs> for, for my decisions in this story. I'm, he's so emotional. A far cry from Karak. He was wow. like, I want to, I want my <gasps> wife and child to have like disappeared or be gone. It's up to yeah. you to figure out <laughs> what happened. They just never know what you can do, Amanda. I feel so bad. No, I mean, <laughs> I, was like, it, oh. I mean, there's every chance that he gave you that and was just like, she's gonna figure out and like, they're gone still. She just right. knows how. Well, I think right. for a good portion of the campaign, he thought they were dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then it was like, oh, they're alive. And then it's like, this is, but oh, are this they is really? Kind of, they're alive. <laughs> This is almost worse than death, though. I mean, like, the lost okay. time, like, if they haven't aged, like... Yeah. Oh, God. Like... Oh, well, ooh. she's now going to be nine years younger than whatever I need to double-check the were. timeline, because a bunch yeah. of different years have been... Like, I've heard oh. seven years, I've heard nine, Same. I've heard eight. Yeah, I, which... Yeah. I well, because to, I think the, the Feywild stuff, I think, kind of has... I need to double-check. I'm not sure... Helped. 
I oh, hope I wrote it down somewhere. Weird timey thing. Yeah. I bet I bet Benji did in his character sheet Probably stuff. Probably so. Yeah. Probably. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was just insane. I was not expecting it. Yeah. Like I, I don't know what I was expecting. Like he went for anger. And so I didn't expect the emotional sort of breakdown. Correct. Yeah. Right. Like I he was going expected through, him like, to stick with the multiple yeah, stages. Yeah, he really of did breed, go through yeah. the. <laughs> he really and with, was. And this is with it. Like for Chi, it's with it. Like so little time. Like this is all very quick, very quick emotions happening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My God. Because we've had like a couple weeks between stuff, but right? this has not been very long. That's this true. This is a lot That's of true. whiplash. Right. What are y'all's thoughts on the dream spell not working? I'm. I have I, questions. Uh, so it can't just be a an amulet of like anti scrying. No, not or necessarily. No. He's. Are there amulets for blocking? It, there are. it could be. It could be a situation where whatever penthouse he's in is technically on a different plane of existence. Oh, it could be like a pocket dimension or some shit. Huh? It could be. Uh, it be could cool. be a sort of like. Um, oh, I bet. Uh, what's what the, the 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 secret castle? Whatever the the spell oh, is it? Morning kind. Morning kind. Um, magnificent. Mansion or something. Mansion. Yeah, oh, it, it could, could be, be like a bad shit. situation. Yeah, it could be. Oh, uh, that makes sense. It could I don't be know. literally anything he could purchase. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, um, he could also just be on another plane. He could be the on time. the fucking he island. I don't know. Vacation. Like... He could be having a vacation in the Outlands or something. <laughs> shit. Yeah, he's no, got a timeshare uh, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's got a time I would not put it past him. Uh, Cthulhu's Island. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can <laughs> I wish like, I could go over there when we're not there. But mm -hmm. yes, there is there is an item in Five E, the amulet against protect uh, amulet protection amulet of protection against detection and location. Co, y'all had one in the last campaign, and I believe yes. you made yeah. Co wear it for a while. Yeah, because he was yes. very vulnerable. I believe yeah. I believe Ash has it. Yes, right now. I think so maybe that makes that would make um, sense let me find it also wow. let me read it yeah i i um, feel like they're they're they've come up more than once but yeah i i i'm 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 really liking the it's just wherever his properties are that his properties are just technically another plane or like a pocket While... dimension while wearing this amulet, you are hidden from divination magic. You can't be targeted by such magic or perceived through magical scrying sensors. So the question is, is what is it called? Dream? A divination type magic? Yeah, does that count? Uh, I don't think it's divination. I think it's, um, it might be actually. Hang on, dream. Uh, let me look it up. I'm looking it up. I had it pulled up earlier. And then I didn't. Your computer will probably look faster than mine. Illusion. Yeah. It's an illusion. illusion. So the, so no. the, Pendant wouldn't do anything. So it's not that. It's not that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let um, me read this spell. How does the spell work? That's what I'm... The spell shapes a creature's dreams. Choose a creature known to you as the target of this spell. The target must be on the same plane of existence as you. Creatures that don't sleep, such as elves, can't be contacted by this spell. So, like... The spell couldn't be used on me. Yeah. You or a willing creature you touch enters a trance state acting as a messenger. While in this trance, the messenger is aware of his or her surroundings but can't take actions or move. If the target is asleep, the messenger appears in the target's dreams and can converse with the target as long as it remains asleep through the duration of this spell. So maybe he wasn't asleep at the time. The messenger can also shape the environment of the dream, creating landscapes, objects, or other images. The messenger can emerge from a trance from the trance at any time, ending the effect of the spell early. The target recalls the dream perfectly upon waking. If the target is awake when you cast a spell, the messenger knows it. Oh, so he would have known it. And can either end the trance and the spell or wait for the target to fall asleep, at which yeah. point the messenger appears in the target's dreams. We did not find out that he was awake, so that is so, incorrect. Yeah. 
Because, um, and, and two, like, I, I, I use this uh, in Curse of Strahd at the very end when you went to the coffin shop and I was like, this is a way I could communicate with him. Uh, <laughs> and then it, Amanda was like, she's, you know, she's, she's not asleep. And I was like, okay. Right. And, I had forgotten about that. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you definitely weren't asleep because it was like, fuck, we got to get her back to the castle. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, just like, right. huh. And then it says, you can make the messenger appear monstrous and terrifying to the target. If you do, the messenger can deliver a message of no more than 10 words, and then the target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the echoes of the phantasmal monstrosity spawn a nightmare that lasts the durations of the target's sleep and prevents the target from gaining any benefit from that rest. In addition, when the target wakes up, it takes 3d6 psychic damage. If you have a body part, lock of hair, clipping from a nail, or similar portion of the target's body, the target makes a saving throw with disadvantage. So he he must be on a different plane of existence. Must be. I feel like or I he's to see that. some sort of creature that does not sleep. But I feel like, but the, because of Amanda's language of like, oh yeah, you just have to get talk to him. It's like to me that implies because I feel like if if Adrillus were like an elf or something in disguise, I feel like Amanda would have been like, um, the spell doesn't work for some reason. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect Adrillus. If she had said it like that, I'd been like, this man is what the fuck. But because of her language, I'm thinking it's I don't know. I oh. I believe all I said was that it doesn't affect or detect him. Affect or detect. Okay, so we could just read that. So he could be and that doesn't necessarily mean an elf. There are other creatures <laughs> that don't sleep. He's a sparse so on emissary tree. guy. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but I, I I, do think the easiest possible solution might be just that whatever penthouse he's in is somehow spelled to be on a different plane. I, and that makes, uh, that's, uh, that's just my theory. I, did like, we, did we think anything weird when we visited him? Like, was there anything weird about? Um, it, I mean, it was just gorgeous, lavish, you know, decked out. But you don't yeah. always know that you've crossed into another phone. Like. It's true. That, like, mm. it, it could, that could still very well be a possibility. Um, I, I feel like that's a very rich person thing to do as well, because. Um, For protection purposes. It's basically a gated community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder it's, if, like, trying you know, to get around the HOA. <laughs> Yeah. Is the portal, like, the doorway to the house? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Um, Who knows? Interesting but, thoughts. Well, but we were able to scry we were able to scry on the ships, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. But scrying, yeah, and scrying has to be on the same plane. So Fuck. maybe he's just somewhere. He might just be somewhere else. He's either somewhere else, but where would he be? The specific penthouse that Maybe that one's not in a plane. That ship is in is not on a different plane. I don't it's... know. Oh, God. A puzzle. We should, after games, think of a drill with the cops. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh. Is... Someone's got to remind me. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll make a note. Because um, he said he was in Pelamari. It was the last we heard of him, but that was a while mm -hmm. ago. It was a while ago. Yep. All right. Good discussion. Yeah. Do you realize what number episode this one was? Yes. 69. 69. 69. Yes. Okay. Takeaways from this episode. What were they? Oh. Um, hmm. Isla's making amends. You yeah. are making oh, amends, yeah. which I... Didn't really think about you doing that. Um, Me neither. But I, it's have. very appropriate. It is very, very appropriate. I feel I like, like it. I feel like you could smooth things over with just about everybody if you tried and were successful. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. As we'll long see. as Wanda doesn't find out about you messing with the darts. As I long as I don't shot. keep Bro. making not one persuasion <laughs> Oh my gosh. So funny. That just about ended me. Well, and it was my die that um, has like 
the bear as the 20 and then fuck as the as the one and so i said fuck one oh that's why you <laughs> so said, said it's fuck. a fuck, it's a fuck one in that bear. one it's one of those. <laughs> like what amazing yeah. okay that makes it's sense. still it's still sitting on fuck as a matter mm, of fact gosh let's change that but it was the dice that i switched to when i was like let me change my dice and then immediately rolled in that 20 mm, so it's um, balancing the scale and yeah. give it that take it away yeah it, it sure do very Ooh. nice Okay. Yeah. No. Um. I, pirate culture. You know. I feel like we just haven't really gotten to know at all. Yeah. It's weird. It's like I feel like everybody is cool with cheating, and cheating yeah. is expected. But if you yeah. get caught, it's a problem. That's the problem. You know. Yeah. It's like yeah. if you're sloppy enough to get caught cheating, rookie like, mistake. Whew, yeah. Ridiculous. Get out of here. Exactly. Yeah. I cannot believe. That, I mean, I kind of can, though. The, the DC for um, fucking what's-his-face? He um, rolled a nat 20 on his sleight of hand. Yeah. So that's why. Ooh. And I mm. think his mod was four. So, mm. like, oh, so, so he four. just barely. So, like, Darren barely beat him. That's kind of mm. Darren's MO, though, is just to <sighs> Always. whatever. Man. That really, because I was yeah. like, shit. If Gregson wins, that's I throw my whole bracket out of whack. <laughs> You're out of your bracket. Got like my March Madness bracket going on. <laughs> oh we should have we should have all made brackets and see who you came really out should on have. Oh, you we should have. Oh, that would have been oh, so man. fun. <sighs> that would have been funny. Hindsight, man. Hindsight. I mean, that in itself could have been a bonus video. Yeah, truly. That been funny. <laughs> I mean, there's still what. Fucking five people? Four people? You know, Four in now. in my mind, I thought I would get through all of the games in a single session. Clearly, that is not the case. Nah. Sorry! Man. That's fair. We had fun figuring out uh, if what we could and that. couldn't do to mess with. Well, and there was some talking yeah. and planning yes. and stuff that needed to happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We messaged yeah. Escher. So I know last session... There was yeah. some debate about whether or not to, like, tell anybody about uh, s suspecting a drillist. So what, I don't know, like, I know we, feel... we just didn't want to do it on the ship. Yeah. yeah. just that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were like, he has eyes on the ships, <laughs> but right. does he have eyes elsewhere? Yeah, that was mainly it. And then we were like, kind of, um, we kind of had some trepidation about telling Mortimer because of I, I mean I don't know I because it's Mortimer. I think Mortimer the Mortimer I, <laughs> I think he does like actually handle clandestine matters well but you wouldn't think so mm -hmm. and yeah. so and, and besides mm. like the Mortimer channel <laughs> of communication I don't know I don't know. I can't in my mind decide whether he would fall more on like, the like can keep a secret side or more on like the Isla side where he accidentally says something. I can't either. All I can say, All I just just think of is Mortimer's like side quest last yes. campaign with yes. Lilith and Hush, yes. where Mortimer <laughs> had been captured by the enemy and was being yes. transported to the capital, and Lilith and Hush had to break him out. And that Lilith so funny. botched all of her roles, and Hush <laughs> came in clutch and saved the day. But Mortimer did actually contribute to them getting away. Um, mm. Yeah, but and, uh, I mean, Lilith, Lilith really just messed that whole thing up. Look, there's another strike mm. against Lilith. Yeah, <laughs> period. Totally. I mean, he ain't shit. No, but like I, I, because I know there was like a lot of sensitive information that we, you know exchanged with Mortimer and so I'm like well I mean nothing really blew up in our face from that he's an interesting uh, character for sure so it's it's hard to tell but regardless the whole I view the Mortimer channel of communication as being Darren's responsibility because right. he has the manuscript the I'm like I'm like you can do that you have five extra words go for it you know like I'll tell Escher though because but I I'm very scared for him I'm very scared <laughs> very nervous i don't yeah. want him to not the... and it's not because i don't trust escher i do i just don't know what a drills can do 
I, we have not begun to even scratch the surface, and that scares me. Yeah, truly. You, yeah. you truly haven't. And I, I legitimately don't think there is any way you could know right now. Because <laughs> no. um, it's just, I mean, it literally was like an out of nowhere, like, you know, reveal. So I, I actually, I mean, I'll ask this question if, if, if you, if that's not an answer you still can give at this point, that's fine. I, I get that. I, I just wondered, like, maybe, because when I was like, I'm going to scry, you were like, oh, scrying. Oh, I never thought about that. Like, I guess maybe what, in what way did you think maybe you were going to do the reveal? Uh, or maybe that's still privileged information. I don't know. Um, but. Well, in some ways, I really wanted you guys to go to his penthouse in Edgewater. Oh, okay. Um, and I would have left clues there. Um, and I left some clues in Alamthir as well. Um, but y'all just didn't spend a lot of time there or the times when you were there, the focus was on a very different part of the story. So like, That's true. <laughs> I left what clues I could without drawing too much attention to it. Like I have to be careful. Normally if I no, mention I something it. like two or three times, you guys get paranoid about it. Yep. Um, and like, if, if you times. guys had like, oh, I want to look around the room and see what's, you know, here, then I would have, like, gone into further detail. Um, but that just never happened. Um, and yeah. sometimes you guys walk into a place and you're like, I want to look. I want to look at this or investigate that. Sometimes you do that, but sometimes you don't. And uh, it was just one of those times where it didn't happen. So that was something that, like, could have been a possibility. Um that would have been crazy, uh, but could have been a possibility. Um, otherwise, I probably just would have waited till, I guess, you guys got to Pelamari at some point and um, would have tried to reveal more things there. Uh, that's tricky. That's very tricky because I know when we were, I mean, actually, both times you've been in Alan Fear, like, there's been a lot of McKinsey. Um, he really stole the show for a yeah. that didn't exist when the campaign started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so crazy to think about. So funny. Yeah. He really was a come from behind <laughs> villain. Um, <laughs> oh, and God. a lot of Adrillis's stuff changed too because like when all the Arthok stuff happened, I was like, I got to figure out a way to sideline Arthok mm -hmm. so that the rest of the campaign can happen. And so I was like, this would be a really interesting way to, like, hint at some of Adrillis's stuff uh -huh. without going into it. And I'll have to find a clever way of trying to get them to not look into that more than they should. <laughs> um, but uh, that certainly changed some things. I was sort of showing my hand earlier than I intended. Mm. He was always meant to be a very late game reveal, if I could, if I could manage it. Mm. It seems like you managed it. I mean, this is fairly right. late in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. No, it's been. I knew it was a matter of time since y'all used the compass on the ship. So, um, that was really like huge. Yeah. So I knew the rest of this was just like a ticking mm -hmm. time bomb. Yeah. For sure. Um, what else? Ooh, uh, supposedly this contact that's gonna be super important for Ronan is. Uh, I'm okay. extremely nervous about that. I did rewatch. Uh, was it episode forty-four that we were in the maze and she talked to him? I rewatched that today. Mm. Oh, sick. So now, I was like, I need to remember exactly what was what said. What are your What are your guesses? Like, what 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 are your I predictions? I feel like it's going to be a somebody that is going to be a callback to something, but I don't know. What. I know. Yeah. I'm like, what is he calling back to? Yeah. I, to be honest, I don't even know. I don't even know if y'all will get it. Probably not. You know? Because we never There's met a... Escher. You well, know? and it's, it's, it's been so long. That's <laughs> It's been a really <laughs> long time. And I, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It might totally go over y'all's heads. Probably. Um, <laughs> which is fine. It can yeah. just be for me. Well, um, and I mean, if anybody's watching that, like, has run Strahd or, yeah. and I mean, which you... Anybody that has run Strahd um, or they, like, they'll get it for okay. sure. And they'll be okay, like, because... oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, because my sort of only guess that I could think of was like that Dolly had someone who supposedly like mm. a brother or something, and I was like, but that, killed him. that was a long time ago. Yeah, y'all killed him. Kill him. I was killed like, I couldn't remember anything about him, so I was yeah, like, maybe it's somehow um, connected to Dolly or like his name was Donnie. He was one of the Donnie. vampires. He was one of the I will vampires never spawned forget. from the coffin shop. I will never forget that. That was so scary. That was the only thing I could think of. And y'all just looking for those freaking bones in the closet? <laughs> that was <laughs> that was the biggest uh, struggle. Like that was, I remember that was some of the worst sequence of roles. And yes. I was just gonna give it to you, and then I read the like next sentence, which was like, "It's a whatever check it's to easy. find the bones." And I'm like, "Yeah, damn it, <laughs> not That's you're so typically not intended." To look for the bones mid combat, I don't That's think personally. Probably correct. Probably not. But when have we ever done anything to the right way? Well, it was just That's the so problem funny. is like it. It's just you triggered the. There was like a specific square that you had to step on to trigger the uh-huh. encounter in the uh-huh. coffin shop, and if you step on that, they all start to break out. That's um, crazy. And gotcha. uh, that's what happened. So y'all triggered the trap before you looked for the bones. And it was just... Yeah. It was Chaos. just perfect storm. Awful. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, man. I'm so interested about this little, like, Barovia arc that's coming up. I am extremely nervous. Yeah. I... I'm extremely nervous. <sighs> I have a yeah. question, uh, and Casey's probably everyone else has probably thought this too. Where if we go to Barovia, how are we going to get out? Because I guess that's, the whole that's point. I'm assuming that would be on the continent. I don't actually know. Yeah, I mean theoretically, Escher told you that Barovia is not an easy place to get to, and that he has this mm. contact that can get you there. Um, so who's the contact? Is that another callback? Probably. That's that's what I think is the that's callback the, is the person. I think that's yeah. Oh, I was actually thinking your dad was a callback. Oh no, I'm good. I'm thinking like the person who's gonna get us there. Oh, okay. Is a call, is a um, Got it. Okay. So okay, okay, hopefully okay. they can get you out as well. Yeah, I'm I'm concerned about what Barovia is like now. I'm also concerned. Yeah. Because I went back, and listened and it's like okay like should we should i tell him that we're coming he sort of acted like there are a lot of questions i have from the conversation in the maze right because like he was aware that we were in a maze which is weird um so i wasn't meeting him in barovia so like all of those little wild (laughs) dream sequences were super weird yeah, I have a and lot like, of questions. Some of them I also, seemed real, and then some of them definitely weren't, and it was just yeah. uh, trippy. I also just like have a feeling that I need to like check in with my shadow situation before we go, and I'm nervous yeah. about that too. I you about have that. been avoiding because I have very diligently been avoiding like, I'm aware. Like, services. I'm very aware of that. Yeah, uh, I also crazy. like meta gaming. Was like, okay, we don't have time to deal with this right now. But like, yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> but like, happening. you know, it's it's interesting. I'm very excited. I'm super excited for all the Barovia <laughs> stuff. I'm also excited I'm that so it's nervous. falling on that. I'm very excited. October, about. like I'm very excited being about that. in the spooky that's month, exciting. doing the spooky yes. stuff, which is super crazy. We're gonna laugh about this one day because I had some totally different stuff. Like Ronan's stuff has changed like three different times over the course of this mm. campaign. When we started really? it, it was gonna be very different, and then it changed, and then it changed again. And okay, and like you know, it changed before we really got to any of it, but like. Originally, it was going to be um, some stuff that was from, like, the same people that did the Happy Jack Funhouse, like, okay. have an adventure 
specifically for the shadow you can find in the mirror. I was like, maybe I'll tie on that. And then as the game went on, I was like, there's literally no fucking way I can guarantee that this will land like around Halloween. So I need to change this. I don't think that's enough anymore anyway. So I want it to be this its mm. own thing. And then hilariously, it's going to fall I do in Halloween. I do just in very much day, enjoy yeah. that I randomly was like, what if I connect it to the Halloween one shot for no fucking reason? Right. <laughs> just mm-hmm. like. Right. Just but because, I guess, because you had given me the Escher connection. And exactly. I was like, that's why, literally, because we met him there. Exactly. Um, but uh, and then, no, you it's know, its own. Halloween again. The, all the shadow it stuff fits, is, is just for us. It's not. Nobody else's creation. It is. It is ours. So it's a big old fucking mm-hmm. mess. Yeah, I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. But I'm also very nervous, and she is very nervous. I'm very yeah. excited. She's so nervous. I don't think she's used to being nervous. I don't think so. I think That's she's just like valid. I think she just like represses. Oh, for sure. She is that queen of emotional repression. Queen repression. Queen of it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Would rather feel nothing any day. <laughs> we are so, like, crazily close to, like, the end of everything, which is so weird. Like, mm. like I've got a Barovia chapter, and then I've got, like, maybe two other chapters like of like oh in the book. Oh, sometimes so we go back to previous chapters when you go to locations and stuff that we've gone to before yeah. or you know that's crazy but like yeah it's weird it's really weird crazy oh my goodness so cool yeah it's wow. super weird it's weird to like know like you know, a lot of times when these campaigns start, I have, like, an, a rough idea for what the ending might be. And then, you know, I just sort of, like, take it arc by arc, sort of, and fill things out as we go. But it's weird to, like, I know what all the remaining arcs are. Like, that, I know what yeah, it's all going to cool. be. I don't necessarily know how mm-hmm. it's all going to turn out, but I know what's going to happen. What events are going to take place. Mm-hmm. It's weird super weird this campaign's taken a while it is our longest i guess huh yeah Mm -hmm. i think so i think so i think it has officially passed the first yeah Yeah. the first one really clocked in at like two years Mm -hmm. um this one is uh gonna be like two two and a half two years and two years and like four months now yeah and i i think my i think we'll end in march that's my guess Right. Oh my god, that's so crazy. That's that's wow. what I think. Which will be almost three years. Yeah. Because yeah. we be what, we started in June. We started yeah, so. at our trip. So yeah, we started. started I thought it was July. Was it, was it July? Was it July? Because it was in Galveston. Yeah. It was in Galveston, and there were like fireworks going on. Yeah. So it was July. That would have been weekend. July. Was, was that it right the trip? before or right after? Was that the, the trip that? Amanda, you and I went to the beach right after on the 4th of July. Was that yes, that trip? Yes, yes. So, so it was yeah, right yeah. after it was the 4th. It was the beginning because of July. that was the summer where we were just chasing, no, but running, we were running from, away COVID from COVID. Yeah. Constantly. Yes. 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 <laughs> Everywhere we went, we encountered COVID people followed. with yeah. COVID. Yes. yes. I don't think either of us got it. Not that time. Not no. that time. We, we had it at other times, but mm-hmm. I don't think Not either that of time. us got it then. Man, crazy. Okay, well, I think this was good talk about about episode sixty nine. Nice. Um, yeah, very nice, lovely discussion. And we will move on to the next episode, to the next discussion. Okay, so this this was episode oh. seventy. Yes. Um. So, Holy smokes! Yeah, yeah I know. Crazy. Can you believe Wacky. it? Um, sure. so I guess my question is like, what do, what do y'all think, uh, what do y'all think, uh, Gallo's deal is? Mm. <laughs> I think he wants to bring himself back to life without any consequences. And so he's very curious about us because that's really what like 
hooked his attention is when I mentioned that we got That's like true. new bodies and and mm-hmm. and brought were brought back to life. I feel like he's he's interested in that. Hmm. Which As is an undead. Which is harrowing. No I one totally should be agree. interested in that. <laughs> no one <laughs> needs this curse. Let's hey, see. Look, if, if I should give my him place, my coin. Yeah. yeah, if he wants to take my coin. <laughs> we don't know of a way to do that, is the thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we could replace Arthok with him, sure, but, oh, but I also, that'd be so much easier. That'd be so it much easier. Be. But I don't know his actual like deal, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it's going to be something that I don't guess. Like, I have no idea. I, I mean, no. but I feel like it would be easier to like convince him, hey, We'll kill you and give you a new body as long as you go along with us and help us seal this thing. It's true. I just don't yeah. know how we could do that. And I also just don't know his motives, like, outside of that. He mm. seems lawful. Question is, is it neutral? I <laughs> gotta imagine they, they aren't worse than Arthox. Mm. Arthox yeah. pretty chaotic evil. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would can't... solidly yeah. put Arthox yeah. in chaotic evil. I just mm-hmm. after after yeah. Adrillus, I'm like, bro, I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> number number <laughs> one betrayal. Can we talk about that? Yeah. I so really I, have- I I feel like I almost um I don't know. There were there would be times when I would try to like um play up his whole spiel about like loving ships and just like being so out of touch with like humanity. Mm-hmm. Um but I also was like, I've never hidden a bad guy this long. <laughs> mm-hmm. how, how much longer can I go? But I think the second you guys use the compass, that, that was just, it was a matter of time. Mm-hmm. I think I said that exact same thing in for Misfit Management to <laughs> for episode like 68, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, but, probably. Probably so. Um, this was sort of the conclusion of uh, the normal games before Isla gets her uh, rounds with Gallows. Um, by the way, Revan really like held his own in those games. Really, really. truly, truly. I cannot believe you got Gallows down as low as he was. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, I'm so not gonna close. lie. When I came up with Hangman's Alley, I the initial plan. You weren't in it at all. <laughs> like, I was just like, all right, these other pirates are going to compete and they'll have opportunities to sabotage and stuff. And then, you know, we'll get to the end and Isla will get to do some stuff. Um, but then it was like, no, we want to play in these games. Yeah. Revan wants to play in these games. And uh, what a curveball, man. Mm-hmm. What a curveball. That's fine. Well, and I'm it's, so pissed you know, it's I don't been... get to kill Isla. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna kill me just so that everyone could yeah, see me come back to life. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I, I, I would. What would you do? I, I don't know. That. We'll never know. We'll never know. I probably would have let you do it. Um, <sighs> no, actually, my plan was to uh, cast invisibility on her and like pretend like I just vaporized like, her, like banished her. Or something. <laughs> yeah. <Bro. laughs> That I love that so actually. Funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, right. You would have had to pre warn Allie. He would have lost his shit. Um, yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we, have, we have a psychic. We could have done that. Yeah. It's been very fun to like also try and make up with all these characters when I have no fucking idea how the, the situation went bad in the first place. It's been quite enjoyable. That's, That's been cool. fun too. It's That's so funny. Finding it's... out that I took her eye because she hit on Allie. <laughs> That's so, so funny. Wow. So funny. I was That's fucking so funny. insane. <laughs> Oh man! You've talked yeah. to a lot of them. Who have you not talked to? You haven't Greed. talked to Greed. You haven't talked to Screech either. Mm, no. um, I'm getting look forward to that. Yeah, but uh, admittedly, they didn't seem as put out as like Wanda. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. That has been sure very game interesting. Game, it's what been is, very very interesting. What is that final game? We've got. I'm really excited about the final. I game. think it's a slam I'm poetry sure. contest. <laughs> slam poetry. Slam contest. poetry. In we honor didn't know of if Vice. Just warm up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <sighs> my god. Yeah. Gosh. 
I feel um, like it's something like verbal, like if it and nothing. It doesn't have roles involved. That's like yeah, I like do. like riddles or like I don't know. Right. I yeah. I wonder if it'll be. It I know that Amanda awesome. said like the event itself won't have roles. I wonder if it's some sort of like zone of truth thing. Um, oh. that could be. I mean, I'm answering he's... questions. And he's probably gonna ask about all the shit then. That would yeah. make sense. That would make sense. Um, yeah. It's yeah, really just could, like, who just wants ask. to be a millionaire? It's just like, intense quiz game. Yeah. That'd be <laughs> oh fun. my god. Make I... it about anime I and it. I'll probably do well. <laughs> Why would Gallows, <laughs> Gallows, <laughs> ask Isla questions about anime? Anime. Does it really <laughs> have she might she might quiz us on like the real locations of places again oh but, like, fuck. More no death. i uh, literally i try to read this damn map and i just can't i know i need to put up a version just for me that i can read i want to read it too i sorry yeah. i don't trust you guys you'll just ruin that <laughs> one i listen i you you have heard from me. Uh, I solemnly swear I will not. I, I swear to I will no not good. Touch Unfortunately, map. you guys' word means nothing to me. I know. <laughs> I've defaced the, the map is, already. The thing is, is like we I defaced the map. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. <laughs> exactly. Actual, exactly. That's correct. That's... We and defaced I know. the map because we were trying to get bingo. Uh, and, but then we got bingo yeah, anyway. We... <laughs> So I haven't much. made the map for the next campaign yet. I, I still have time. Um, yes, you do. I still have a lot of time. Um, but uh, I part of me is dreading it because I just know what's going to happen to it. You should just put numbers for the different places and have your own names so that we can't. The thing is, the names you're on the still map. gonna you're still gonna find a way to fuck with that. How? Yeah. They're just you numbers. Just are, I, the old map, last campaign, I'm pretty sure somebody drew a dick on it. Probably. Yeah. It's not always really? about names. I, don't I think we did. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure a dick did. was drawn at one point. Uh, I, I just don't remember I don't where. Remember that. It had Can to have been it? somewhere near Tylock. <laughs> Dwayne Tylock I guess I could Johnson. pull up. I, bet I, I guess I could pull up this, the, sca the <laughs> not scabbard. What's it called? Is it scabbard? Yeah, scabbard. Yeah, because there's a map on there, right? So I could read all the actual names. Yeah, there names is a map. There. If you look okay. up, but Tylock was Dwayne Tylock Johnson. Dwayne Tylock Johnson. For some reason, he I feel like there was a dick near it. It might have been. I don't, I don't know. know. Tola Dick. No, Elias Ballas probably. Oh, uh, Tola, Tola, Tola Dick is also yeah. possible. Elias. It Ballas. sounds like you named these places a lot of very um, <sighs> unfortunate. Which well, is totally. so different from this campaign. And Elias Some of this is uncalled for, though. <laughs> Some of this is like a a step, like it's it's a a leap to a leap to get to some of this. The amazing thing about Aaliyah Thalys is that, like, you said Aaliyah Thalys, which was the name, and then Benji was like, "What?" Benji like, misheard Aaliyah. it. Yes, and and yeah. was like, I totally thought you just said Aaliyah Thalys, yeah. and then we just. So we took it, took it, it and ran you with ran with it. Because that's always the first one. That might have been. I think it was. Well, I can't remember if it was before or after Dwayne Tylock Johnson. I think it was before. I think, I think, it, think it was, was before. before. Might have been. I don't know. I think that's I what kicked remember. it off. And then I just think snowballed that's what from there. I think so. Um, I have said this to a couple people before, but I think the campaign will end in March. Mm -hmm. I think the hmm. campaign will end in March. Which means we'll hit about 90 episodes, right? Something I think like we that. said. Maybe. We, yeah. I don't 80s, think we're 90s. I don't think we're going to make it to 100. I think mm -hmm. challenge we accepted. Could be in the <laughs> you rail every episode. But... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, theoretically <laughs> hang this hangman's alley this has taken longer than I thought it would. So, um okay. for sure. Fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. We'll probably still be, well, I don't know. We might still be in Barovia in November. So. November? I think so. I it's wasn't possible. sure how long that would take. I <laughs> am not sure either. In I'm... some ways, I'm glad that this is taking longer because it helps me, like... Have it's... more time to plan. Well, it helps me, like, 
I'm, I've been trying, I've been having some difficulty uh, divvying up where the next level ups are. And yeah. mm. there are places where I want them to happen, but it's like, I just don't know if we're going to do enough in this arc mm. to justify it, you know? So okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. this does help a little bit with that. I definitely have to. Kind of a filler to... arc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's our anime filler arc era. <laughs> anime filler. It's when, Bleach like, episode. Bleach reenacted Aladdin or whatever. Unfortunately, the Bleach <laughs> that filler is a bit season yeah. was. <laughs> Um, well, there's always the school play as well. That's always a filler episode where they do like Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty yes, or something. Yes. Like in Car Captor Sakura, they did Sleeping Beauty, and Sakura was in the Oron. And they Shaolin did was Alice the in Wonderland. <laughs> um, yes, they did. Yeah, this Ooh. is where the anime quiz comes in, right? Yes. Now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What what play would our characters put on? Jesus. What what is kind of what? It plays I will often say. Up. When I originally was like trying to write down notes for like what I wanted to be in this campaign, on the list was um, the um, God. What's what's the Avatar episode? The players that oh, put the, on the, the, em the Emerald, Emerald Island, 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 Island players. Yes, I yes. was like, Ember Island. I'll do Ember 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 Ember. Ember. I was like, I'll do that, and it'll be the last campaign is the story they're telling, <laughs> and I. <laughs> Haven't been able to work that in. Oh <laughs> so. my god, that'd be so funny though. Um, yeah, we would love need that, that. actually. Even kind of like a like a shopping episode type bullshit thing, you know? Like, well, when's the next shopping episode gonna be? Probably After... in Hangman's Alley. After all the games, they Maybe. did go shopping in Hangman's Alley. Or, or I, I just not sold not her idea, After Barovia, hey. after we're, we're you, all you go set shopping in Barovia. Bad. No, after a, Barovia. Look, is there stuff in Barovia that we can get that we can't get in Aurelia? You know what? Hmm. Maybe, Question. but it'd be really, really, really fucking Potentially, expensive. is it stuff that you'll want? <laughs> <laughs> probably. Um, potentially. Stuff we need? <laughs> mm, probably. <laughs> Underwater breathing? Mm. <laughs> you underestimate the allure of an Hey, if y'all really want to breathe underwater, maybe you should nag Revan to make some magic I items. Do. Well, I also can cast... Um... Oh, what is it? You Hold can, on. You can, since you... sixth level, you have been able to craft an item that would grant. What? Maybe the ability to breathe oh, underwater. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, no, we can I... make Alex's no, no, cloak. No, 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 no. No, but I would have to attune to that. I don't think I can make that for other people. Yes, you can. You can. You can make anything. It will require attunement from other when they put it on, but like you can make it. <laughs> As an artificer. Oh. We'll talk about it's... it. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Regardless. <laughs> regardless, Ooh. now I can cast water breathing and grant up to 10 willing creatures. That's oh, The ability huge. to breathe underwater for an hour. That's so we're, we're, we're good. 24, 24 hours. 24 we're, hours. Yeah. We're so yeah. good. Heck yeah. The, the potions of water breathing are stupid it's a single hour and you guys were yeah. like we all have one we're fine <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> i have a feeling there's some pretty cool shit hey you know what we could do oh god amber temple part two. <laughs> oh you know what i was thinking i'm like what, there's some nice god. gifts in there oh at my what god point will we be coming yeah let's Arabia? just fucking go like at so what, i like, is this I know exactly where you're going, obviously. You, you, I'm yeah. the DM. Um, I can tell you that it's a place you've never been. Because, uh, I mean, there's still huh. a lot of straw, like, a lot of that campaign we never did, so I believe it. Yeah, I'm sure. It's yeah. the Ruby Temple. Is it the... I remember, the... I think it was a long time ago now, but I was like, I've been trying to find locations of this place, and I'm using this, like, Yes. map that somebody yes. drew of a yes. video game that, that yes, doesn't that. work anymore. Oh. Yeah, okay. that's what this is all. Like, okay. I'm oh. diving into deep lore to explore parts of Barovia. Oh, deep to. lore? Oh. Wait, I'm so excited. Very With the cool. original publication of Ravenloft. Oh, oh. oh I am that's so, so excited. excited. Now, oh, I'm what I'm putting in this location Totally new, totally different. But like sure. the location, the you know the place itself from the OG book. I am so curious about hmm. this. Yep. Oh, seated. 
I do think if we were to do a play, I think probably like a little mermaid or something. I think it makes sense <laughs> because because <laughs> Eric hear me out because Eric like he like knows Ariel, but then like doesn't when she can't speak. And it's like similar with Allie and Isla. He's like, wait, I know this bitch. And he's like, but wait, what's going on? Yeah, it's a similar dynamic. I can <laughs> add another class after level eight. What? what? You're just discovering something for the first time? What? What? At the, what? At the bottom of my class on D&D Beyond, it has available at higher levels, add another class. So, I'm going to look mean, at your sheet in a little bit, okay? Multiclassing <laughs> is a thing. but Multiclassing I, is a thing. Yeah. But this sounds like it could be something different. Here's yeah. the thing. Here's something that I I think both me and Joe have realized. We don't know how artificers work, yeah, and by the end of this campaign, work. we still won't know. No. <laughs> and Listen. if anybody in the next campaign chooses uh. artificer, I will personally come find you and punch you in the throat. <laughs> no, I I know. Exactly artificer was nowhere in my plan. <laughs> what, what are you thinking about me? Yeah, what That's are you gonna be? Way. I want to be a druid. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes my druid. decision easier. Historically, Historically okay. a class I also don't understand. I don't know how to play a druid, but I'm, <laughs> a I will look into it. It depends on what druid you want to be. So, like, yeah, because, like, Circle the Moon, you just have to really know all the shit you can transform into, which is a lot, which is why I have not touched Circle well, the Moon. Well, and, I but, mean, with the new changes, it's not as... Oh, yeah, I haven't even looked at like, it. Like, oh, yeah. Circle of the Moon isn't the only, like... Oh. you know, viable druid option anymore. They're a little bit more I know. even well, now. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, there were some really nice subclasses. Yeah, that, but it was sort of like, know. if you want to be OP, you if have you to be choose OP, Circle of the Moon. Yeah. You were Got Circle it. of the Moon. Yeah, but the other circles are, are cool, but they, they can get complicated, though. Like, Circle of Spores kind of gets a little... Mm. Like, if you want to play optimally, it gets right. a little... Scratch what I said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> See, we don't understand this class. Yeah, no, never, yeah druids never. and artists are hard for sure. I think druids are probably easier though. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a hippie. I'm gonna be some hippie druid. Yes, go fun. for it. Nice. I'm heck so yeah. So That'll work really well. All I know with the is end that of the world. You're gonna have magic. I, we know. Oh, we yeah. know you're gonna I have just magic. Know I'm gonna be, play magic. I'm going the opposite route. I'm so gonna be so far away from magic that, like, <laughs> that was you me. picked a jockey class. Me this campaign, oh, you no. picked a very difficult uncharted yeah, class. You really did. You really we did. can't help you. That's the problem. I saw yeah. it. Yeah. Also, we Joe, can help you with most of the other ones. I may like yeah. they. I let them all level up their campaign one characters to twenty. I may mm. need you to make a level oh, twenty to, character. Yeah, so. Mm. Also, okay. so well, just you, have, you could do the same. Can you do? Can you do the same one that he did for? Um, or no, Emily, you created the one that he didn't. Uh, I don't know what happened, but we'll talk about that another okay, time. Cool. Yeah. I feel like this okay. was a lovely discussion that was loosely based off of <laughs> session seventy, um, and largely about other things. Um, yeah, and we talked uh, enough about it. Sorry, we veer off topic. You know, it'd be like <laughs> also that, man. we just don't know. That we, happens. There's yeah. a lot yeah. that we just don't know about what you're throwing at us now. Yeah. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's just fun. And that's always the goal is to keep you guessing. Yeah, yeah we're doing it. Mission you accomplished. are successful. <laughs> I am successful. All right, and then we'll move on to session seventy-one. All right, so we like finally this. finished the pirate games. <laughs> this was episode seventy-one, by the way. Um, well into the well, I won't say well. In, we're not well into the seventies. We've just entered the seventies. Yeah, thoughts on uh, the whole little pirate arc? I liked the she the sea shanty game. Yes, that was, that was oh so good. The fear that was I, I <laughs> right? felt my, my soul when I was like, oh shoot! I, yeah, I was like, have we ever talked about sea shanties? So, like, I know, right? We really are. Yeah, I was like, because you were like, all right, it's the ultimate game. No, roles. and you were like, we were like you know, hyping it up, and I'm like, she's gonna say go fish, or something crazy. <laughs> I was waiting for it, and you're like, no check is gonna help, and I'm like, oh, that's really interesting. And then you were like, it's sea shanties, and we're like, 
Oh. <laughs> uh oh. I think Sarah threw it out as a joke. Because I was like, I need like silly games for them to play for this pirate arc. And I think she threw out Name the Sea Shanty as a joke. And I was like, I have to do it. Yeah. There's no option. No, I have to. Sure. Hmm. We just It just needs to happen. Um, yeah. Thoughts on uh, the pirate arc being more comical in nature? Oh, I loved it. Pirate. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I was hoping it. for. Good. Yeah. No, I loved it too. Especially after everything. Yeah. Um, you got to find those bright spots, you know? Yeah. And just hold on to them desperately. And now we're in Barovia. And... <sighs> Yeah, Amanda oh, yeah. said we're going from dark to dark, so here's a little <laughs> something. <laughs> a little something. I, I, like that. I feel like Barovia, I feel like um, we're only getting a short snippet, so I feel like we won't go full into dark. We'll just stay in spooky, you know? Uh, okay, okay. You know? Okay. Maybe. Okay. All right, I don't believe you. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't believe you. Okay. Oh, man. I mean, Barovia. I do like, I do like that, um, Pirate culture is this like very interesting like thing, and it's like structured but not. And yeah, you know, it's I like that though. I think because that that I think that further separates like us from you know the pirates we've met. Yes, I think that difference is very, and the juxtaposition of that is very. Interesting. I. I... In Gallo's little, like, heart-to-heart with Isla. That was fire. At the end. Yes. There were a couple different iterations of that. And in in one version, he was going to point out, like, like, you're welcome here, but I think you and I both know you're not a pirate. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, like, you're not stealing from people or, like, chasing some job for, like, you know, notoriety, like, you're trying to do something um, that nobody else here is doing. Um, Yeah, and there's, like, I think there was even a version where he would have pointed out that he himself doesn't really consider himself to be a pirate anymore. Because, like, he doesn't sail the seas. He's just, like, Mm kind of there to, like, offer a landing place for people that are trying to, like, find themselves. Mm -hmm. No, I love that, though. And... I really, um, and it was so poetic that for that little, that Gallo, ga- Gallo's gauntlet that he didn't really do much, you know. I know, y'all were very, like, wary of him, which I get it. Totally get it. That's, that's, that's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he was meant to be super mysterious, and he still lives. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, he was meant to be just, like, a solid dude. I do have a question for my own picturing. Sure. Was Gallo singing the sea shanties? No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Valid <laughs> question. Valid question. No. Okay. That's funny. Because I was like, was not. is this just like a group? Like a pirate yeah. chorus that sings <laughs> Probably. the sea shanties? Anyway. Probably so. Probably just like random ragtag group in the tavern is like all right let's sing a little little song man yeah. i also find it poetic that gala is like is i mean as you mentioned like a similar of a similar kind of like archetype to, to isla and that like he isn't really a pirate you know anymore um mm-hmm. and so he was the one to, to give her her message um yeah. that's really cool um as like this sort of acknowledging of likeness for I sure guess. um that's super cool there's definitely like a ton more i'd love to share about gallows but i think it's gonna have to wait till like the post campaign talk yeah you know oh and now we I go to barovia I have so many questions for post campaign. I'm not gonna remember the one. I know. Yeah. I've been trying to oh. write down. I've been trying to write out like, you know, things that changed along the way and like things that could have happened if different things were done. So I've been trying to keep track of it. Um, I need to revisit my 
list. Um, cause like there was like a ton of stuff could have happened differently if like Arthok had stayed with y'all longer. Um, I may have mentioned it before, but like originally, um, one of my tactics would have been, um, like it, he was already, there were moments where he would do things that were kind of like, or say things that were kind of suspicious. He would have those, um, I almost made, like, a montage of, like, all the sus things Arthog said over the campaign. <laughs> um, but um, if y'all started to ask questions about him, he was going to, like, admit that he was the Cloud King um, and just sort of give you some truth and be like, oh, that answers my questions. Like, oh, I was suspicious of you. It's because you're this pirate guy. And hopefully that truth would, like, keep you from asking further questions for a while. Mm. Um, and he was going to, like, argue that if you had ever caught him, like, I don't know, fighting anybody, he was going to argue that he was trying to get revenge for, like, what was done to him, like, the mutiny or whatever, and kind of use that as an excuse when wow. that's not really, like, when really it was all the Cthulhu shit. Damn, bro. But, um, yeah. Um... But it didn't, it didn't pan out that way. Mm. Mm. Uh, Ronan having a little heart to heart with Darren. That was so sweet. My heart. He's the only dad he knows. <laughs> and he's been a pretty good one to her so far. So. You're a dad, so. So help me. Help. Oh. What do I do? God. How do I talk to a dad? How do I talk to a dad? You're a dad. You should know. <laughs> Tell me, me how to talk to dads. Help. help. Helping the dads for dummies. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. That will be. Teenage panic. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about y'all messaging Vendrig. <laughs> I never I do. I've been right. thinking about that for a while. I never Origin think I, about y'all messaging people, and then you always do. Yeah, I also oh, yeah. figured kind of with us preparing to go into Barovia, I was like, we we do sort of have a person we could ask, but like, how... <laughs> right. Hey, we're coming. What do we need to know? <laughs> hey. Yeah. Give us like a bullet list. <laughs> Man. We shall see how uh, this little spooky arc goes. Darren has oh. not said the message at all. He's just been like, all right, that is information for me to know. I <laughs> what else to find out? <laughs> forgot that y'all are supposed to level up. So oh yeah. I'll, oh wow. I'll text oh the group. Holy shit. Oh, what do I have get to level, level up right? when you arrive in Barovia? Oh, this is great oh, time. My god. Oh my god. What do I do? I know, what do I get at this all? <gasps> That's so crazy. Okay. Do I wait. Holy little bit. That's so okay. exciting. I'm I'm glad you remembered. Oh, yeah. Yes. Shoot. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh shit! Okay. Um, oh, I get I... six level spells. Hell yeah! yeah. Spells. Six level spells. Also, my destroy undead feature is increased. Um, uh, is improved. So could come think... in handy. Could come in handy. Could come in handy. Oh yeah, baby, let's go! Oh, yeah. oh my god! All right, well, I think that's a good enough little chat about episode 71. Uh, there will be, we'll do 72, and then um, then it'll be the off week, and uh, and this little misfit management will go out. So, Yay. to the next episode. Here, here. Here, here. Let's talk a little bit about Woo! episode 72 yeah. episode 72. 72 that's crazy uh ronan found her dad i did what are your thoughts on that oh. uh, 
panicked. <laughs> panicked. Well, at least he seems just as awkward. He really does. <laughs> the genetics are strong. Yes. The apple does not fall far. No, they do not. Somehow. <laughs> there are definitely some uh, missed, uh, missed opportunities in this place as well. I had some traps. Um, I wondered. Yeah, there's a whole thing. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Maybe the next time we bring back Happy Jack's Funhouse, <laughs> I'll do those. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, and if y'all had, like, really ventured into the maze, you potentially could have run into some other stuff, but uh, y'all really took the, uh, y'all really took uh, the smart route there. That... Yeah, that didn't occur to me at all as, like, a thing to... Yeah. Dude. Yeah, the freaking smart. compass, man. And I knew you guys would say that you were taking it with you when I asked. But I had to ask because I needed to know if you had it or not. Yeah. Look, don't be surprised if that compass disappears at the end of this campaign. <laughs> would not be shocked at all. Damn. <laughs> man. Um... Thoughts on Stray, this big, nightmarish... Freaking terrifying. Still have Ooh. questions about that whole situation, but wasn't gonna yeah, handled, but stick around enough handled, time to but ask. Understood? <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Man, I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm okay. I'll watch the video yeah. instead yeah, yeah, of yeah, experiencing it. <laughs> like, fine. him popping on that screen was so scary. That was scary yeah. looking. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, as, yeah, I, I'm i very, we'll probably get into this in a few weeks, but, like, I'm very curious about what the implications are for Stray being yeah. in a weapon. It's like, yeah, okay. I'm so curious about that. He's just, he's just there now. Uh, yeah. I'm sure this won't be I bad, ever. Love it. I, I also will, am curious. Yeah, do, we'll yeah, wait until, good, we'll wait until the next episode for me to, like, tell you the name of the dagger and I'm so excited. and yeah. let you equip it and stuff. But, um, yeah. Um, your vestige is a little different than other people's. <laughs> I think that's so fun. Though. But, uh, like that. it's a fun one. It's a super mm -hmm. fun one. Oh, yeah. man. It's been so cool watching Ronan though, just in this arc, like, just like start to like, I don't know, take charge mm. and like really just like, cause I feel like, right. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like your whole thing was just like running and um and I feel like now we've given you a chance to just like approach things head on and mm. um and take control and I think that's just really cool and empowering and yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think a lot too with her like is she's just like been alone. Mm. For yes. oh, such yeah. a long time so for like sure. uh, having people around like also gives her support that she's not used to having you know right that found family mm -hmm. it's, it's strong man um but yeah i'm this wrapped up a little quicker than uh than i thought it would but um yeah i wasn't sure I mean, I suppose you could just stay in Barovia and we'll just <laughs> do all that again, you know? Uh, Pop over to Castle Ravenloft. Meet the meet sure. these three <laughs> chicks in charge. I'm sure they'd love you guys. I'm sure they're pleasant people. I'm, I'm sure, sure it'd be super fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. You could invite them over. <laughs> huh? It's kind, of, it's kind of crazy how, like, if this were anywhere else... Like, almost anywhere else. And if we had all this extra time, we'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll explore, oh, yeah, we'll sure. see. But because it's fucking Barovia, we're like, no, this isn't the Anime <laughs> Beach episode. We're, we're leaving. Something we're that has been consistent across everything, just all of our years of playing, is y'all have never wanted to stay in Barovia a second longer than you had to. Well, <laughs> a second I, longer really. it's like the whole reason why um i chose where like all the like important things that you had to find like i chose where those would be because i'm like 
if I don't put these things here, they're not going to go to this location. They're not going to go anywhere they don't have to go. Mm -hmm. So let's let's put them in like what I think are the coolest places and then we'll hightail it out of here. Which Mm -hmm. totally makes sense. It makes me think of the... um, the GM roundtable with like Brennan and Matt and Abria being like make it as complicated as possible, but like the character feels like they're doing it as quickly as possible, sort of right. thing. Like you spread them out so we have to go explore things, and we are glad that we explored things. Mm-hmm. But the players, like, I just want to get this done and go. <laughs> right, for sure. And I think I think a lot of that like drive to finish something as quickly as possible or not really just depends on like what kind of tone is happening in the campaign or like what kind of tension has been built built up um you know because if this was like pre arthok being found out y'all would probably feel like you have a lot more time to like you know do whatever you want you know but since him being let out and since learning more about the island and all of that stuff like um let out discovered is what i mean uh running amok or whatever um learning more about the island and like kind of this like i don't know ticking time bomb of cthulhu potentially coming out it's like all right well we can do some things but maybe like we should figure that out and and not dilly dally too much Mm -hmm. so it's um it's been interesting we do have a kind of tunnel vision i find yeah Uh, y'all do y'all do have a tunnel vision which works well, because I feel like I normally Ooh. gravitate towards, like, more linear storytelling. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely am a linear gal. And I mean, it's not like you don't have options. Um, yeah, that's true. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's, I guess it's more linear. But, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This sort of wraps up our spooky arc, so to speak. We'll deal with the resolution of it all. Um, that first, uh, week in November, but, uh, yeah, that's... I, yeah, I'm also gonna wonder what Vendrick, <laughs> what is he gonna do when, when he gets You know, back honestly, to... super valid. I, I loosely <laughs> was I've thinking about, about that. I was like, what am I gonna do with this character once they're done like, with this? Like, gonna with where's he gonna go? What's he gonna do? Hmm. I'll have to figure I mean, that out. we could use a wizard. Yeah. Oh my god. Wall of Horse. <laughs> okay, we'll just drag Allie and Vendrig around wherever we go, and then I'll have to deal with nine. You're nine telling me, You're telling me this man who just has been reunited with his daughter is just gonna peace out? Are you gonna look at me and tell I me? got... Basically two weeks to figure it out, man. Uh, I did sort of wonder. I know, like, eventually the goal is Pelamari. Like, there's plenty of opportunities for a bigger city to, like, have something. He probably will have to hang with you for a little bit, unless he needs to wrap anything up in Barovia. Yeah. So, I'll stew on that. I'll definitely have an answer for you um, when we get to that point. But yeah, I feel like that's a decent, uh, decent little discussion on episode seventy-two, and uh, seventy-two. I know, yeah. in the seventies. So I guess this whole little misfit management covered what sixty-eight through seventy-two. So that's a nice little oh. chunk. They probably the remaining of these misfit management things will probably not be that covering that many episodes. Um, but uh, we got a nice beefy one for you at the start. But anyway. Yeah. That's all we got. That's all we got. On to the next session, on to the next episode. And of course, I forgot to film an outro when I filmed the intro. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, feel free to like and subscribe. This stuff really helps me out. But way more importantly, leave a comment down below. If you have questions for me or anybody else at the table, we would love to hear from you. We would love to do our best to answer those questions. That stuff means the world to us when you guys show that you're interested and you're invested. So we really, really love that stuff. But with all of that said and done, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope you enjoyed this sort of discussion covering episode 60 through 72. Until next time, guys.